Hey guys, it's Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I run a small handmade business called Sewing Inspire. But today I'm going to be showing you how I turned my dressing gown into a sweatshirt. So this is how the sweatshirt has turned out. And yeah, if you want to know how I turn my dressing gown into this sweatshirt, then just keep watching. I mean the table look at all this purple fluff and look at me yes I am still in my pajamas don't judge okay so the first thing we're gonna do because obviously like I was quite limited with the amount of fabric I had I had to cut the front piece in um, as two pieces which is fine, it just means there's going to be a seam down the front of the sweatshirt, but it doesn't really bother me too much. So, first thing I'm going to do is sew the two front pieces together. So, right sides together. I'm going to sew all the way. Up here. by the end i'm then gonna just overlock every seam that i sew as i go but i'm not gonna film that because it's just not really very interesting so now my seam is all nicely overlocked as you can see it's still a bit fluffy but it's not like coming off uh, like it was before it's so annoying that it has to be white but i don't have any other threads for my overlocker so anyway now with right sides together i'm gonna this is the back this is the right side up on the table laying the right side of the <laughs> purple fluff is flying everywhere right now um lying the right side of the front piece on top matching at the uh shoulder seams just gonna pin that in place and I'm just gonna sew across the two shoulder seams and also whilst I'm there I'm also gonna sew down the side seams um, matching I mean I would say notches but I'm a bit lazy <laughs> so I'm just gonna match the bottom so they line up and so i have overlocked all of my seams and i've also overlocked the neck line okay next i'm going to attach the sleeves um now i was quite lazy <laughs> with this and just use the sleeves on the dressing gown um, so yeah my side seams already sewn up so all I need to do is just pin and sew them on to the thing and it also means they are already hemmed which is great <music> Okay, 
so there is purple fluff literally everywhere i'm literally drowning in it you barely can see my floor sewn in my sleeves as you can see they literally fitted purple there's some pin in there um they fitted perfectly which is brilliant but yeah all i have left to do is the neckline and then well and cut all of the threads off but um my sleeves are already um hemmed from the thing and i've also left on the original hem for the bottom so i don't have to hem anything which is brilliant but it's looking really good i think so yeah i'm just going i've just made this into a loop by sewing two ends together and then why didn't show me sewing my sleeves in oh well i did it <laughs> um and then i'm just gonna fold this in half and pin it on Okay, let's put this on and see what it looks like. I am so excited, it has turned out so good. Yeah, this is what the neckband looks like. I'm so excited, it's gonna be so cozy. Here it is on, because it's such a dark color, it's probably been quite difficult, but yeah. Love the neckline, obviously the sleeves are just like super baggy, because it was a dressing gown, and then it's really nice length, it's not like too long or too short or anything. You could even put some elastic or you could put cuffs on it if you want them a bit tighter. But as I'm only using this for chilling, I think I'm just going to leave it and then... Yeah, you can't really see the seam down the middle because it's such dark fabric so it kind of works. But yeah. And that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not already to see more videos from me. And I will see you next week with a brand new one. Bye.